Hey everybody, I'd like to introduce you to another friend of mine today. It's Gary from Memory Motors. And today we're going to introduce you to Cookie. Cookie is a 1954 Chrysler Windsor Deluxe. We're going to do a little walk around, show you the good and the bad, just so you can see what the car looks like. As you can see, the chrome on it is pretty badly pitted. Still serviceable, there's not chunks out of it or anything, but again, it really depends on how much you want to do to bring this car back to its original condition. My feelings have always been just to sort of get them to the level where you can drive them and have fun with them, but to each his own. Uh, still has original big wide white walls on it, and these are actually bias ply tires, and they're still serviceable, they're not cracked or anything, so they still pass the safety inspection. Body along the bottom, the chrome and everything still there. No uh, major holes or cracks. You can see some bubbles starting along the bottom of the door here. But again, it's still sealed up and solid, so definitely still drivable. Uh, again, up on the top fender here, there's some chunks that you can see where, I guess, previous filler is starting to pop through. But again, good and solid, not going to fall apart on you. Around the windows, you can see there's still the chromes there and pretty badly pitted, but again, everything works the way it's supposed to, no issues there. They'll get the low fenders on it, and again, you can see more, more filler, I guess, was done at one point. And it's starting to pop, but no holes yet. Go around the other side here, and again, you can see the back bumper, like I said, um, rust pitted fairly badly, but uh. Again, still solid, no no major issues there. We'll take a quick look in the trunk. Okay, so inside the trunk again, metal is really solid, no real issues there. Still got the original spare. A few extra cobwebs in there, no extra charge for those. But the floor itself is very solid as well. back your lining. You can see some rust there. There's been a patch there as well, but again, it's solid. Definitely a good driver. You could still have lots of fun with this car. Again, we're 1954. Still in pretty good shape. Essentially ready to hop in and drive around without too much trouble at all. Again, chrome on the front bumper is not quite as bad as the back, but again, still some pitting issues there that you can see. The original emblem is still intact, but you can see where the paint has come off it over time as well. Both headlight bezels are in place still. See the one lens down here has got some cracking in it where there's been some water inside, but again, signals still work. Take a look down this side, you can see that there's some some areas in this paint where it's bubbled. The paint obviously has been redone at some point, but uh, obviously quite an old paint job. You'll also notice that the driver's door mirror is missing. We do have the mirror here, just trying to figure out a good way of reattaching it. Still some bubbling you can see starting to happen around the windshield. Again, still solid. Glass is in good shape, no issues there. Uh, wipers have just been replaced. Car also just had a tune-up done and the battery was replaced. This is an original 6 volt car, it has not been converted over yet, so again, some people may not like that, but I, I prefer to keep cars original. I think it just adds to the nostalgia of the vehicle. A little bit more cracking and bubbling around the fender skirts here, and you can see the same at the bottom, but still solid, not rotted through at any, at any point. Still definitely good as far as uh, driving goes. Back glass is in good shape. Now we'll open the doors up so you can take a look around inside. So the inside of the car is where this really shines. Uh, as you can see, it's in excellent condition. Um, I suspect there's been some upholstery work done at some point, but still in definitely very good shape. Carpets are all good, no major rips or tears. Front seat's in really good shape. This is all just a little bit of dust that's on here, no holes or anything. Dash itself, you can see, has a little bit of weather checking in it. You may be able to polish that out with some good vinyl cleaner. We tried and didn't really get it to come back to life very well, but uh, again, it's something you could work on once it's yours. Headliner is still in 
in original conditioner. You can see that there's been some staining to it over the years. I didn't want to try and clean that staining out again uh, for fear of damaging the fabric. Figured it'd be best to leave it alone. And again, makes the car look more authentic for its age. Back seat, as you can see, is in really good shape. Take a look at the carpeting in the back. Still have the handle. Cigarette lighter is missing. Always a, want make it important for all your back passengers to be able to smoke as well as your front passengers. There's the mirror that we'll be putting back on. Um, you can see again around the back door on the other side, there's a little bit where the uh, upholstery is starting to come away. But uh, other than that, in excellent condition. One spot here on the back seat, a little bit of a mark on it. And you can see that it's coming away a little bit at the back here as well. But still, pretty solid old car. Let's take a look at the other side. So again, a little bit of bubbles in the upholstery here, but the rockers themselves, all solid. That's the original drain hole, it's not a rust hole. Still has all the original scuff plates in place. Well as the grab handles. Usually those are the first thing that disappear on these old cars as the old grab handles. One thing you will notice is missing. On this side there's a little handle for the window crank. We're missing the one for the rear door on the passenger side, or sorry, on the driver's side. So if you know where there's one available, I mean, we'd be happy to buy it so we can fix it, but it's something that uh, the new owner may have to attend to. Window will still wind up and down. It's just a little bit more cumbersome without the knob there. Now we'll take a look in the front. Again, everything really solid, no major issues. Carpeting still in good shape. A little bit of staining there that we tried to clean out. You can see the rust still here, but still really solid. Good solid old car. And again, some guys will grab this and they'll want to resto mod the whole vehicle or do all kinds of other performance things to it. But as it is, you can hop in it, take it for a Sunday drive, and have no problems. Now let's take a look under the hood. So it still has the original flathead inline six cylinder engine. I think it produces a whopping 119 horsepower. You're not going to do any quarter mile passes with this thing and win anytime soon. But definitely still a fun old vehicle to drive. Uh, new cap, rotor plugs have been put in, as well as a new battery. You can see that an aftermarket manual choke was added. That was just set in there primarily to make it easier to start but uh, this car always fires right up. We've never had any issues that way. And it runs really well. But again, 1954 technology, so it doesn't exactly uh, get up to speed as fast as you would hope, but it's still fun to drive. Hey everyone, it's Gary from Memory Motors here. We're gonna take you for a little ride on our friend Cookie. If we get a start up here. Inline 6, uh, definitely not the most powerful vehicle in the world, but it does run quite well. Get you out on the road here and we'll uh, take you for a little drive. Okay, so Cookie is definitely no powerhouse. Um, uh, well, you can hear the engine there, but really not a lot at 0 to 60 time. You're not going to be winning any quarter mile races with this car. But it does run quite well. It's got a regular two-speed automatic transmission. It accelerates and brakes fairly evenly. No major problems with the braking system. As you can see, no pulls, no dragging, no anything. As far as the wheel goes, it's not pulling or anything.